Um, hi brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I really um felt the need to make this video. So, um, I was on this app called the Ikek. I I sometimes go on it. I I post um rapture warnings about it, rem like reminding the people how, um, the people in my area, because the app is basically you post anonymously, and whoever's in your area they can basically see. So I remind people about how we're living in the end of times and things like that. And I was on this app. Um, I was scrolling. And I saw this um, this post. I'm not sure how well you can see the screenshots that are in the video, but I'm going to read it out to you just in case um, you can't see it. So basically, um, this one person said, he, he, he wrote, um, are there any Christian youth groups around I can join or Bible studies? And I'm like, wow, that's a... After I read that, um, I'm like, wow, this is great. Uh, I've, ever since I've had this app... Or, I've never really um, seen any anybody anybody else post anything about Christianity or the Bible or anything. So I got excited, and when I clicked on the app and saw all the comments, I mean, I was I was so mad. I, I'll I'll tell you what happened after. So after the guy wrote that, someone in commented, "There are multiple churches around, and most often have youth groups. You can Google one closest to your area." And then the original person that, that made the thing saying, are there any Christian youth groups? He said, yes, I attend the church my family goes to, but I don't understand most of the sermons and the topics are as in-depth as I like them to be. Aren't as in-depth. Yes, it's an Armenian church. I don't read the Bible on my own, which is why I like to join a Bible study. And he continued, yes, I attend the church my family goes to, but I don't understand the... Okay, I just read that. Um... I have, he, okay, he continued, I have a hard time interpreting the Bible on my own. I also recently became a Christian, so I can't tell the truth from a lie. And then he also continued, I'm 18. I was in a really low and desperate point and wanted to end my life. And coincidentally, I got a sign from God that day. I've been a Christian ever since. I mean, after I read what the original poster read, I'm like, wow, glory to God, man. This guy, this guy or girl, I'm not sure, he or she was about to commit suicide and God sent him or her a sign and and he or him didn't uh, didn't go through with the suicide attempt so I'm like wow glory to God but after what I saw what someone else wrote after all the all the things the original person was wrote I was it made me sick to my stomach so the person wrote another person like another anti-christian person wrote LMFAO assumes it's a sign from God oh you poor thing I mean after I read this I was so angry. I, I I paced around my living room probably like 20 times. That's how mad I was. I mean, my anger was boiling. Here you have a story about a um, a person that was going to commit suicide and God stopped him or her. And then you have someone else making fun of the person saying, that wasn't from God, you're being delusional. And then um, if you can't tell from the picture, the person that wrote LMFAO assumes it's a sign from God. It's the... It's the commenter with the pink logo. It's a it's a pink TP basically. I mean, I was so mad. And the same same pink person, he or she continued on talking about how the Bible is is false. Christianity is false. It's based on Sumerian beliefs designed for a monotheistic God. I mean, this person was attacking Christianity. After I saw this. I was so mad because for a second I was relieved. I'm like, wow, God stopped someone from committing suicide. And then I saw how much hate, how much pure hate and, and wicked and evil some people are that you're going to make fun of a, su a person that was going to commit suicide and say, oh, that was just your Im imagination. And by this person saying that, oh, it assumes it's a, it's a sign from God. He's saying, oh, that wasn't from God. That's basically your imagination. Um, God didn't stop you committing suicide, so you can go on ahead and like try to commit suicide. No one's gonna stop you. That was just your imagination. That's basically what this person was saying. I was so angry. I'm like, you're gonna make fun of a person that was suicidal like this. I mean, it just made me sick. Like I said, I I paced around my living room like 20 times, and after I saw this, I mean, I lost all ho hope. I'm like. I deleted the app, I turned off my phone, and my anger was just boiling. And the same person that was commenting, um, oh, uh, uh, being skeptical about the sign from God, the same person, like I said, was attacking Christianity. He or he, she was saying, oh, um, God doesn't exist, it's all your imagination, 
um, Christianity is false, this and that. And he was claiming this, the, 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 the writer with the pink logo, he was saying, oh, I wrote, I wrote an essay for school on every single book of the Bible, which is, I'm like, wait, do you know how many books in the Bible there are? So that means you've written over 60 essays and what class if you're not in a if you're not in a if you're not a theology major or anything like that what class is going to require you to write an essay on over 60 books in the bible that's just ridiculous and this person the, the 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 pink person that commented with the pink logo i mean he or she is a liar they are you, you have to get to a very low point in your life to make fun of a a, a potential suicide victim like this this is the saddest thing and this is the most miserable thing I've ever seen in my life. Please don't be that person. Please don't be that person. Restore my faith in humanity. And please, we need to stop people like, like him making fun of Christians. We need to stop people like that. This is what I wanted to get off my chest. Thanks for listening. And also in the description box of this video, I have a message that I've been posting around my city that I've been spreading so anything you can tell you if you're gonna email the message if you're gonna text the message if you're gonna facebook it if you're gonna share it anything you can do to remind people how we're living in the end of times and the trip and the great tribulation is about to start and how the rapture is can happen any second of any day god will truly appreciate it he will reward you just like the holy bible says so do anything you can to save a soul from hell thank you for listening god bless you and all glory to god because all glory belongs to him